D-Rack dropped the beat. West Coast. I got the streets yelling. West Coast. I'm mobile detailing. West Coast. That's how my team do it. West Coast. And we keep it moving. Uh-oh, it's a West Coast movement. Oh, yeah. Y'all ain't hear him, they say West Coast doing it. Talk to me, I talk back. You wanna watch, you know where West Coast at. I'm busting suds, scrubbing rugs. I'm cleaning bowls, shining dubs. Hit the scene, looking clean. No questions asked, I did my thing. West Coast. I got the streets yelling. West Coast. I'm mobile detailing. West Come on. That's how my team do it. Oh, yeah. And when it come to this detailing, I make it happen. Waxing, ceramic coating, I'm about to ask it. You say you need a detail. Well, who you asking? Google me if you feeling me. West Coast did it and it ain't no mystery. So pull up, put your feet up. Shoot them keys, we get you cleaned up. West Coast. I got the streets yelling. West Coast. Oh, I heard it. Detailing. West Coast. That's what's how up? my team do it. West Coast. Go. And we keep it moving. Where? Mama, the secret sound. Yeah, that's West Coast. Oh, yeah, it's a movement. All 2022, you can believe that. Valley, pull up. Don't yeah. get caught right Matter of fact, I'll pull up on you. Don't get that's caught at that right. quick point. You know what it is. They can't do it like West Coast. Oh, we'll be telling them it's fine. Yes, sir. It don't get no it's better than this. It's a plane. I'll say it twice. Nah, it's it West don't Coast. get no and better than this. Oh, I heard it. You talk we in this bitch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My nigga Jay back. Yes, sir. I got my nigga R R R R Rico in the building. What's oh, we good? in the house. Oh, yeah, my mama named me Rico. You can call me West Coast. Uh, West Coast? Oh, yeah, no, we in the building. I just Coast. heard the track, my nah, nigga. Yeah. yeah, it's West Coast. There's too many, there's too many legends with the West Coast. I can't, I can't <laughs> give you well, We that, just got man. another one with the West Coast. <laughs> yeah. Another West Coast, one. Another one. That's like DJ Kick hey, the on, Cap. Hey, how long take you to make that song, boy? That shit is slapper. It took a couple weeks. You know, we was dibbling and dabbling, you know. Don't really have a lot of time to get to it, but when we got to it, we got to Boy, it. Hey, man, yes, that shit hard as fuck, it. man. That hey, Valley Talk hard. Radio, we got a new episode. I brought my nigga Jay back from no, episode they, one. No, they away for long. Hey, you know we family, nigga. Oh, yeah, of course. I got my nigga Rico. Yes, hey, sir. This is a special episode. We doing support your locals in this motherfucker. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Appreciate, hey, appreciate that. We in the hey, building. I heard a lot of good things about you, bro. Oh man, some of it is true. Some of it. <laughs> some of it. Some of it. You I want to hear all of it. So, you, where you from? You from the valley? You yes, from... sir. Palm Springs, born and raised. Okay. Rep the valley everywhere I go, baby. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, sir. Went to Raymond Cree. Went to Palm Springs High School. So, okay. You know, right, all right. Uh, twenty twelve. You know, played a little sports. Tried to do my thing, man. Oh, you graduated um, in 2012? Yes, sir. Oh, Best graduating so you, you class. Know, man? Oh, man. Rest Ooh, in peace, man. Yes, sir. Man. Oh, yeah. That nigga's one of the coldest niggas I've ever seen. You talking about a stud? You yeah. talking about a stud? Man. Man. Steph every Curry before every Steph sport. Curry. Yeah. Every sport, bro. Oh, for sure. Yeah, man. man. But Real yeah. story. I got in trouble because that, of Pooh Man with my Steph mom. Steph Curry before no. Steph Curry. That's <laughs> accurate. Yeah, bro. That's accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got in trouble because of Pooh Man when I was in high school. I used to wear like two socks when it was like a thing. <laughs> with the black socks and you yeah. wear the white socks. Um, and I went home and I tried to do that. And my mom seen me walking out the house, the house and she's like, um, you must be planning on doing laundry or something because <laughs> I, I know you ain't wearing four socks. <laughs> and I was like, well, I seen Pooh Man do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah so real uh, rest in peace to Pooh Man, man. Yeah, rest yeah, in peace, man. man. Good dude. Yeah, good dude, man. So real. you was born and raised in that motherfucker. So... What made you, inspired you to get into the whole detailing thing, you know? You know, man, COVID, you know, COVID shut everything down. You know, I referee, I was working at the school district oh, yeah, and, you, you know. We'll get into that a little later. Yeah, referee. so um, it's cut the sports out, no more school, so I didn't have a job anymore. Um, times got real bad, you yeah. know. <laughs> but, man, I just laugh about it sometimes, you know, but it, it got so low where I was asking to borrow money to buy a gallon of milk. Oh, you know, you, that's three Real bucks shit. or something. Real you shit, usually can find that in the couch. Yeah. It get hard yeah. for everybody. Yeah. Um, you know, so I went to um, Thanksgiving in Texas with my brother, and he gave me the idea to do mobile detailing, and um, literally just changed my life, man. Right. So, uh, yeah, it worked out for the best. When the pandemic first hit, bro, a lot, you know what I'm saying, some niggas got bold, other niggas just folded. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's you had to find your lane. Oh, we had to, that. man. You know, I got three kids, I got a fiance, mm-hmm. you know, so not coming home with no money wasn't an What's option. What's crazy you know, is right. it looked like you've been doing that shit your whole life because you be getting down that motherfucker. Oh, bro. you get busy. Oh, you know, <laughs> they say the most uh, uh, dangerous man is a desperate man. Mm-hmm. And I was desperate. Oh, yeah. You know, I needed that bread, no you know, and I wasn't trying to go knock somebody in the head over it. I wasn't trying to stand outside asking for money. You know, I wasn't looking for handouts. I wanted to get right out there and now. sweat. You know, I get out there and, and get my money the hard way. And I didn't have a problem doing it. And I'm pretty sure where you from, a lot of niggas do be on that tip where when they get desperate, they feel like, you know, sometimes desperate needs, you know yeah. what I mean? Desperate yeah, situations. For sure. And, you know, and I don't judge nobody for whatever they feel like they nah. got to do. But, you know, I know some people that go get it. Oh, you yeah. know, I, I'm just not that type of dude, you yeah. know, and I ain't going to fake the front. You know, it, that ain't me, you know, so I got it the best way I knew how. Yeah, nigga. Hey, kids. nigga, I'm yes, proud man. of you. I, I know I just met you and all, but I'm proud of you just hearing uh, that little bit of it. Cause, oh, I appreciate you. Oh, yeah, God, somebody got to break the cycle. Yo, you know, man. You know, everybody's yeah. scared to talk about breaking the cycle. You yeah, know yeah. What I'm saying? Oh, it's broken. Yeah. yeah. And you <laughs> down the street, in the dumpster, and pick ups tomorrow. <laughs> you got to go, Jack. Yeah. Yes. Uh, hey, yeah. So when you started your on. business, I'm curious to do like, was it jumping from the start or did it take a little bit to get funky? We, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, we had a we had a growing pains. Right. Um, you know, now I got a like, you know, a big detailing van, but it started off with a, a pickup truck. Um, literally I went and ref the tournament in Utah. I made eight hundred bucks and my father in law called and said that he's seen a truck that was broke down and the dude wanted six hundred bucks. Mm. I'm like, shoot it. Took it to my dad. Um, and ended up only needed this little 20 part pulley and we put it on the car and the truck was rolling. Um, and before that I wanted to do the detailing, but I couldn't see it. And when I got the truck now, it's like, okay, I can see it. Now I can get the tank. I can get the pressure washer. Mm-hmm. Now I can see the vision unfolding. So it just took, you know, just that little, that little, uh, yeah. Um, but with that, you know, ran with it. I, I jumped on offer up with this 800 bucks still. So 600 went to the truck. 20 went to the, and I I mean, literally, like I didn't have any extra money. 20 went to the park to fix it. I went to offer up and bought a tank for 40 bucks. Mm. And I bought a pressure washer for 40 bucks. I had like $10 left in the tank. Damn. And from there I started, I just did it in my neighborhood. Back when gas was cheaper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. $10 yeah. would actually <laughs> do something. Yeah. yeah. Not, 20. That 20 was 20. You yeah, know yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, we, so I started in my neighborhood. Just doing like free washes, ten dollar washes, you know, twenty whatever. Right. I can um whoever wanted to support mm-hmm. just to get the confidence. Cause it takes confidence to hey, let me do your car for three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Two hundred and fifty yeah, dollars, whatever. Practice, it takes right. confidence, you know, to do that. Oh boy. So um it took me about a month or a month and a half to just to build up that confidence to say, Hey, you know, I, this is what I'm doing now. And once I did that, I just posted on my Instagram. And I'm not gonna lie. Once I posted on my Instagram, it took off immediately. Mm-hmm. Like um, I was, I wasn't. I'm not gonna say I was popular in high school, but I knew everybody. Yeah. Um. So you wasn't I, no regular Joe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah. So I, I just, you know, I had a lot of people on my uh, Instagram already. So you know, the word got out kind of quick. You know, all Dude, blessings to God. Is a monster. Yeah, yeah. You know, God really put me in the right position every time. Mm-hmm. Even being on a podcast. You know now. Just being in the right time, right place, you know. Nipsey said it best: preparation meet opportunity. Yes, sir. And, you know, and that's really my life right now. Yes, sir. You know? Rest yeah. in peace. So whatever life. opportunity comes, I just want to be prepared. I ain't going front, bro. You speak a fact because I hit you up today. Yeah. And you hit me up ten minutes back. Let's do it. West Coast after dark, baby. Yeah. Oh, West We're Coast building. after that's dark, true. yes, We're sir. Up too. Yeah, Thought them doves, you know what I'm West Coast, West Coast. Yeah. I was kind of yeah. worried who was going to hit me up, but when you hit me up, I was like, all right, we in the bag. No, nah, we in here, man. Mm-hmm. So it, it worked out. So even right now, I'm in a van, and I got a full tank of water. I got some clean towels and some gas in the generator with That's some right. lights. So if you pull up after the podcast, you know, we might be able to work something <laughs> out. Hey, hey, West Coast after yeah. the dark, no, man. Do like Get your little... car detailed <laughs> right a... now. Yeah. I'll pitch in if you need it. Yeah. How about we do like yeah. a little giveaway? Let's do it. Let's do so, it. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, first person to say West Coast car wash gets a free little. We'll give them, 
We'll give them a free wash with the wax. First and of you, all, all you gotta do gotta is be, tell them West gotta Coast be more did it. Organizing that because <laughs> nigga, motherfuckers watching the show and then, oh yeah, West Coast, West Coast. How we gonna hear them saying West Coast? Yeah, first? Saying, I hear them. I hear them. I, I got the streets yelling. Oh, I hear them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, hey, we we, we gonna get you a you West Coast bat signal, yeah. y'all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hear it. Yeah. Well, as soon as the lights uh, yeah. shine in the sky, nigga, the dub come up with the Tupac yeah. fingers, nigga. That's how we know, well, nigga. They call it for you. I need a wash, nigga. <laughs> They yeah. call it for a West Coast. Where they at? Though? What do you? So what? Yeah. You, what are your like uh, usual rates? So it just depends. When I first started, I was just pretty much like a car wash guy, right. you know, mm-hmm. just come wash the car, you know, which is cool, you know, no knock to that. But, you know, now I went and got, I got certified, you know, so now I'm specializing more. In, in like, money. Now you got a brand. Yeah. Um, I specialize in like detailing, um, but, you know, I, I didn't forget where I come from. We'll yeah. go get that money yep. any way we can get it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, we started off at 40 for cars inside and out, 45 SUVs. Um, you know, fifty for the trucks, and then oh, that's a good ass like deal right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. And you pulling up? It's smooth. We pulling oh, up on you, mm-hmm. and I might be bumping that song when I pull up. Oh, oh yeah, so you can I'm hear tough. me when I hit that corner. <laughs> yeah. Oh good. Yeah. Hey man, just make sure you get little snippets with everybody when you go. So yeah. they, they not getting the full video song. together. Yeah, you got to go to YouTube Real to custom. get the full song. Yeah. You better know the goddamn Real words custom. if you if you yeah. order in the business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. you know we are gonna have a little T-shirt to go with it. I might drop something off on. Um, oh on yeah, it. So I ain't gonna cap them shirts. Pretty hard. Those is there right there. Oh yeah, my boy Alec made them for me. That's Shout right. The only Alec. reason why I'm not tripping because I didn't bring you a shirt, and that's a first, man. Yeah. I fucked up. Well, I feel disrespected, so I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll be Bad looking for it. I hit you in the DMs, don't worry about it. <laughs> he gonna get hit. Yeah, I know where to get in I touch with you. you. I got you, though. Yeah, for sure. Hey, so what if somebody's starting up their own, like, you know, mobile detailing business? You got any I, good ass advice for them? Yeah, I got some good advice. Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> like, I want some better advice. Don't, don't get stop. discouraged, man. Yeah, it's cliche. Said, don't stop. <laughs> well, listen, I had, I've been doing about a year and a half now. I have my equipment stolen. Mm. Um, I got it back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've had, I was on the news. That means it was somebody in your house. If you got Oh, you was back. on the news too? Yeah, I had a little news clip. No, the police officer. Oh, I seen that actually, the yeah. news. That yeah, was shout hard. Out. Yeah, shout out to the news. Um, no, I got my stuff stolen and the police officer pulled over a stolen car. I went to school with the officer and he seen my stuff back there and he seen my post. And he's like, hey, he hit me and he's like, I think I found your stuff. Oh, that's I saw dope, it when bro. I tell you that like, God is always working for me. So Man, that's well, stuff that it. don't shout happen. Shout out to the yes, mother. Sir. I never thought I'd say this, but yeah. shout out to the motherfucking popo. You know yeah. what I mean? And you know, I didn't really even want to put the uh, report in. My sister did it for me. I'm like, they're not going to find my stuff, man. Um, And sure enough, a <laughs> yeah, couple like days that. later, yeah. So you know what? Shout out to the good Lord for looking out Man, for me. But, what other um, but it, to be honest, I do got some good advice. Um, Well, advice that I would give, you know. Um, for sure, always be persistent, but just have a, a goal. Like you gotta have a goal. Like mm-hmm. what is what is your purpose? Like right. when I started off, I said I wanted to be different from everybody else. Um, because you have a lot of detailers, you know, you have yeah. three on, on one street. So I wanted to be different. That's why I got the songs. I have a little like promo skits that I did when I started. I just wanted to be um personable. You, you wanna know, be out in the streets. In the streets, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh you know, because anybody can wash a car, but you Man. know, sometimes you know that little extra make them laugh, or you see something. You know, I have real sure, you know right. my daughter out, you know, my, yeah. you know my son, you know. So I just wanted to be different. Um, I've never seen a detailer with their own song, Man. so I wanted to be the first. You know, Man, not the first in the valley. You got bars too. It wasn't <laughs> like, you feel me? Oh. It wasn't like you know what? Hey, before we start doing the show, my nigga said I wrote two songs. Yeah, you know I'm saying in the last two weeks now I feel like I could hey, do this shit for real. Hey, like y'all you know as, as an <laughs> artist, hey, let me ask you something. As an artist, you felt intimidated, huh? You were like, "This shit." <laughs> Listen, my nigga, I got goosebumps a little bit, but it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was something light. <laughs> yeah, it was something light. I just feel like, um, if you're being yourself, you can you can never lose. You yeah, know, when well, I was in school, that's some truth. When right I was in there. school, I was the kid who used to host the school rallies. I had the little TV show where we were making songs about the little sports teams or whatever. Mm-hmm. Just doing anything, you know, in front of the camera. I didn't care about being silly. 
Um, even now, you know, I dance in front of the camera. I do whatever. It's, you know, it's not about. Yeah, that's you know, me too, man. Yeah, for real. back in know, high school, I was yeah. I was the guy. I they they yeah. knew I could sing. They got Michael yeah. Jackson for the halftime yeah, show. Yeah, that's I'm, right. All <laughs> this bullshit. Yeah, yeah but how like, do you need somebody? Yeah, go get Rico. How do you balance like? How do you balance all that with your family? Because I know you be grinding a lot. Yeah, it's a thin line. You know, shout out to my fiance. You know, she gets the grunt of it all. Right. You know, um, because at the end of the day, you know, she's at home with the kids. So mm-hmm. somebody got to go get that bacon. Yeah. Oh, and, you know, my kids want the bacon and the eggs and the biscuits somebody and the jelly and they want it all. They're so, expecting the full you know, breakfast. I'm still learning as I go, honestly. Yeah. Um, I cut back from, the you know, like the 12 hour days. I try to make it like, you know, just eight hour a day. But when you have your own business, you know, sometimes. Hey, you got to go get it. You yeah. know, because I don't have like you gotta no sick, work overtime. I, ain't no sick time. You know, if I don't go home, not for you. Yeah, not for me. Yeah. So if I don't make it um, to work, ain't no money coming home that day. Oh God. So um, yeah, I, I'm learning. But so what I try to do is I try to take a weekend and take him out somewhere. You know, we went to Sea World a couple weeks ago. We're going to surprise um, the kids and go to Disney World. That's right. And made for their birthday. So just mm-hmm. trying to do something. Uh, you know, because I'm cool with it being at home. You yeah. know, I have no problem, <laughs> you know, putting the TV on, kicking back. But so. the kids got to see the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's the so. hardest thing right now, especially with the pandemic, is I got two of my own. Yeah. And so they you young, they six and four. Okay. And it's just, you know what I'm saying? With everything going on right now, shit do get hard. Yeah. But I feel you, and I definitely respect that because, yeah. listen, bro. Black fathers, we don't get enough. You know what I'm saying? We don't get enough kudos and shit yeah, for the shit that we do. Nah. And, and when we fuck up, oh, they gonna magnify that. But you know what I'm saying? You actually out here doing Dang, it as a, yeah, as a black that father. Like, yeah. like, really, so, I'm, and I'm father. not even doing it for the kudos. When I go home, and if my daughter asks me to give her something, there's my kudos. Exactly. Daddy got it. Don't exactly. Trust. Yeah. And you know what? And what really how my does, turning point. How does your family feel about like the whole car wash business? Oh, they love it. They want to be in every video. They, oh, yeah. I, I call them uh, P. Diddy. They want to be in every video. <laughs> want to be on every song. He said, can I get my own goddamn video? <laughs> yeah. Tell them y'all can be on the next one. West Coast that. got this yeah, one. Yeah, you yeah. got to get that bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. I bet they get yeah. hella love at school, man. They gonna yeah, yeah. be like, hey, yo, yeah. daddy, West Coast? <laughs> no, when they, they not even in school yet. Oh, no, okay. They, you gonna yeah, have to wait they, for that. Yeah, they little one. My oldest is four. Oh, But she's... Four Dang, going you're on forty. Be booming by mm-hmm. then, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My oldest is four, but really, um, last Christmas she wanted like this little play kitchen. You know, it was only like hundred and fifty bucks, but um, I couldn't get it for. Her. And that like that really broke me down. Like that was that was Christmas Day. Yeah, and I started the business January first. Mm. So I, I literally sat there on Christmas and I went in the bathroom. I didn't want to see. I don't want my girl to see me cry. I don't want my daughter, but I did cry because I just yeah. really felt like as a father, I didn't come through for her. And even though I know what Christmas is about, it's not about the gifts and stuff. Yeah. Um, but for her, she was three. You know, it was about the gifts that day. Yeah, definitely. And she asked for it all year. And there's no way I thought I would come to Christmas and not have the nah, money. I, I just pushed it. I'm like, I had the money when it came around. Christmas came and I had nothing for her. Yeah. And that I woke you up. Oh, man. I literally, it just literally, when I tell you, like now, I, I feel like I might start crying just thinking about it because yeah. I never want to feel like that again. So yeah. that was Christmas Day, and I started the business January 1st. Mm. And if you ask my fiance, I worked seven days a week for about six or seven months, nonstop, every single day, 12 hours, because I would rather work and know that I would never go back to asking the bar to, for the gallon of milk. To buy some diapers for mm-hmm. my kids. Nah, man, I can't do that. Time to so, step up. <clears throat> yeah. Man, so you now, get me emotional in this bitch, nigga. Man, I'm telling you, it's but that's real. That's yeah, real. That's yeah, real. It's real. Yeah. Spell, it's real. Real. So I told her, I we, I didn't tell them that, but I I told myself we would never be in this position again. Definitely. And that's why when people see me start my business, like, man, what is he doing? Why is he working so hard? Man, I I got a reason why I'm working hard. Yeah. So here I am, a year and a half later, never. I wanted to make a hundred dollars a day. That was my goal. Mm-hmm. And how shallow that is, I'm like, just if I can just make a hundred and I can referee and go make a hundred and fifty or whatever, two hundred dollars a day, we'd be cool. Right. And when I think about it now, I just <laughs> <you're> <laughs> like now it's like, man, you know, the goals weren't big enough then, but for mm-hmm. me, if I a hundred a hundred a day, 
was good enough for me. Yeah. What I don't mean yeah. to cut you off, but like, yeah. what exactly are your goals now that you're yeah. actually situated yeah. and comfortable a little bit? They, they move, they change. Right. You know, once I get to here, okay, now I got a new goal. So my ultimate goal is to be, you know, the number one detailer in the valley. Oh which yeah. Is, you know, nigga, you are. What you ha, mean? Ha, 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 we'll say that twice. Say it twice. <laughs> hey, my bad, Daniel. <laughs> really, I got a lot of homies that do. Yeah. Like... <laughs> no, nah, really. Um, we got a lot of rich communities out here. Yeah. You know, we got a lot of ce- celebrities who come out here. Mm-hmm. I want to be that celebrity detailer. So mm-hmm. when they come out here, and we want to get their car done. Hit West Coast. Yep. Yeah. West Coast Rico, yeah. man, so, for real. All, all you need is one. That's, Once you get one celebrity, then you get them all. But see, yeah. you got like now a days you got. Social media, you got Instagram, TikTok, you know what I'm saying? Facebook, still That's why I bit. wanted to do the song. Snapchat, yeah, the videos, you did the song and shit. Just posting videos of cars, everybody got that. Yeah. Everybody's posting videos. When you go on any detailer's page right now, no shade to any of them, there's going to be pictures of cars. Mm-hmm. All down, just clean cars. Okay. So anybody can watch cars. When you go see my page, there's going to be skits. Mm-hmm. There's going to be pro- promotional stuff. There's going to be stuff like, I don't have one picture of a clean car. You can go to my highlights and see it, you know, but I don't have any of the like videos, reels, but they're not me, you know, just cars before and after mm-hmm. pics. Yeah, you I know, agree. I got a little personality with my, yeah. you know, little West Coast on it. Yeah, you know? because shit, yeah. me, like my mom, that's the first person I thought when I heard your song because yeah. she likes shit like that. She see Motherfucking video, it's a detail, and I know I could call this guy right yeah. here. He dancing and shit in the video. This nigga, yo, he's funny, yeah. he's friendly, and, and all. Yeah, come, yeah. come clean our cars, man. And, like, and the slogan is "Don't get caught riding dirty." Mm-hmm. So I play on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I play yeah. on that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a whole bunch of motherfuckers just yeah. eat that shit up, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. and I'm catching them. I'm in the bushes community. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm we caught them. you riding dirty tonight, Jack. <laughs> hey, you a fool? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. clean your ass up. You, you see a video of me hopping through the bushes and doing flips and stuff? <laughs> hey. Yeah, that's ain't no stunt, man. West Coast did it. West oh. Coast. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, you gonna sure. honestly, yeah. real, I could see you blowing yeah. up like on oh, I appreciate a whole different yeah, level, bro. For bro. Real, like, man. I hope so. Like, not only like do you have originality, but your drive and I could hear the motivation in you, bro. Like, you gonna go places, bro. You ain't no regular <laughs> ass nigga, bro. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, bro. Like, all oh, it yeah. really take is that one, like you said, man. That shit that happened that Christmas, man. Yeah. That one little shake one up to wake your ass up. Yeah. And that's going. That's what's going to yeah. tell you. Let's not go back to Christmas. I might start yeah, crying. Not, <laughs> but that's what's going to tell <laughs> you, yeah. though. Like yeah. after that, you're really gonna know. It, yeah. like, am, am I man enough to step up, or am yeah. I still gonna bullshit around? What well, to me For was a sure. hundred dollars. You was like, I was comfortable making a hundred a day, and yeah. nah. That's yeah. the one you know. No, that was uh, back then when, yeah. like I said, ten dollars did yeah. something in the yeah. gas tank. Yeah, now, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hundred dollars a day but is not for, good enough. For real, I was cool. I'm like, if I can make seven hundred a week, you know, I can make it work. I know how to make, you know, a dollar, two dollars, make twenty dollars. Yeah, right, you can right, make right. it work. Um, but you know, I don't want to live, don't live paycheck that way. to paycheck. Yeah. You know, yeah, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to struggle like that. I, I literally had. Like a scammer, like scamming out a thousand dollars one time, and that set me back, me and my girl back like eight months, and mm. we never recovered from that. I don't want to be mm. like that. If I lose a thousand dollars, when you hey, desperate, you you reaching for shit, motherfuckers. Yeah. They definitely uh, yeah. take Especially, advantage of on yeah on Cash App. You like, know, not even I scammer. still ain't got my bread back either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for it. Not even a scammer. Like if an emergency pops up and you anything, gotta spend bread, anything. I used to right. say as a grown man with kids. I can't say I have a hundred dollars to my name. Yeah. That's sad. What if my kid gets sick right now and I might have to go borrow some money or God forbid, go knock somebody over in the head to get some money for my kids? Nah, man, I can't go out like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's man. out. I, I, hey, I definitely feel how, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I've been there, so yeah, man. I know I got, you got my yeah, respect. I got them tattooed yeah. on me, man. Yeah. You know, they, they got to look up to somebody. Now, even with my dad, you know, I used to think he was a, like a superhero, you know, he never had like a lot of money, but he was like a man's man. When someone was fixed, he 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 fixed it. When someone was broke, he fixed it. You know, mm-hmm. when the, the grass needed to be cut, he cut it. You know, so I always knew that I wasn't gonna be that type. And you know, I ain't cutting grass. <laughs> I'm gonna pay for somebody to get it fixed though. <laughs> somebody gonna come cut it. Yeah, but I'm gonna get it done. But I always wanted to be that like that type of example for my kids. Where to be like, hey, you know, my dad is all right. 
you know, yeah, my dad is, yeah, you know, he made it happen for us. Yeah. You know, I just wanted to be that type of dad, man. Uh, <laughs> I know your parents, I mean, not your parents, I know your kids looked up to you like a hero because you oh, was a they, hero. They scream, my, my, my fiance hates it, you know, but they scream my name when man, I come running to sing your praises. Hey, but, and you know what's They're so gonna crazy? Be at school washing bikes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, West I'm Coast pulling up, West Coast in there. <laughs> 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 they can wear their t shirts, yeah, I'm hand done. it to your teacher. <laughs> Yeah, we we'll give them a said, discount. That tip money's mine. I gotta yeah. teach about taxes. Real yeah. <laughs> no, my daughter comes out and work. Working for her is driving in a van and putting on YouTube while I work. Okay. And then she'll like roll that. the window down. I'm like, Dad, you missed the spot. Ooh. I'm like, okay, we'll come get it. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Oh, okay. Yep. So you staying home at mom hey, next time. I heard you be refereeing and shit. Yeah, Dude. yeah, yeah. That, that's the number one goal, man. Number um, one goal is referee. Yeah, like I want to go to the NBA. Okay. Yeah, if not NBA D one at least, but um, the detailing gave me the flexibility to a referee so that I can travel when I want to mm-hmm. or when I need to. Um, all every job I had, they would get mad when I would leave early to go referee, and I've always been like, you know, a job is you can get a job, you know, any day, but refereeing is the long term mm-hmm. goal. You all know, right. you talking about making like twenty five, thirty five hundred dollars a game? Yeah, you know, yeah, run that. That's how much they make. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's easy money, right? Yeah. There. Well, it ain't easy. You know, you nah, got sixty thousand yeah, on your neck. Dang, you <laughs> repping every other night, like yeah. you traveling across the country. You know, it's so you said you working six months out of the year. Yeah. Um, it's cool though. You know, that's really what I aspire to be. Um, and it's know. it's doable. You know what I'm saying? For like, sure. With For your sure. drive and shit, my nigga. I would. I, I'm saying I would yeah. expect to see you there. You know I mean, like, yeah, you yeah. made this shit happen. What's so. the worst thing you've seen, like, refereeing so far? <laughs> I've seen a coach get parked by uh, a parent. Oh, shit. <laughs> Took his kid out the game. He didn't like it. And then the daddy was like, hey, put my son back in the game. And the coach was like, uh, well, you ain't the coach. He said something slick to him and turned his back. Oh, damn. Yeah, put them Never on turn back. your back. Got yeah. to be more careful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't never you turn your back. I mean, but you see videos all the time of referees getting beat up, yeah. you know, getting attacked. You know, you're you not the guy. Excited. No, no. You no, out no, the no. way. Yeah. No, I'm not out the way. I'm going to oh, get in okay. the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I'm going to get um, right in the way. You're just not getting beat up. <laughs> no, I'm going to stop a game because you can't do it like, you know, well, you got to get the gym quiet. Woo, 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 woo. Hey, hey, what's going on? You know, now the gym quiet. Mm-hmm. So now you yeah, put them on front street. Trying to find yeah, out now, going. now if they bowl, they'll say something. But most of the time, they, you know, they gonna keep going. Yeah. But that was when I was like, you know, young, hothead. You know, mm. I don't do that anymore. Yeah. You know, feel it. I see him cheering for number fifteen. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, bad, fifteen gonna have a short game. Yeah, tonight. fifteen. Yeah. Get out of here quick. He better play defense. I tell you that. <laughs> Just move them feet. <laughs> now I ain't gonna make up no call. <laughs> But you better pick them feet up and move them. Really? I tell you that. <laughs> hey, speaking of sports, what you yeah. think about your Cowboys? Ah. You know what? We can talk about your Raiders right now. Yeah, yeah. Bo, yeah. Bo, it's America's Bo, team. Bo. No, 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 it's not, not anymore. You know, they like to think you know, they're America's. You know team. why we're America's team? Why? I was born in '94, so I've never seen them win, and we're still the most talked about team. Nah. So that tells you. I that tells you actually there's a most sir. talked about team Please in, in the, the worst team. of ways but listen <laughs> you guys want to be talked you about you guys are only because you guys are in the nfc least it's the easiest division you guys usually have the best talent on paper you know and still what's, being, what's y'all wait wait <laughs> what's y'all old. what's y'all most common record like past 20 eight and eight yeah, that was the old days. That was but, the old days. You know what's crazy? But then y'all just traded away all y'all good players. This we ain't worried season. about it. We can Man, just we can pull off a Joe off the street, year. and we'll still be America's team. Nah, you know why I'm so hyped. You seen what my team just did. Oh, yeah. So don't talk to me up. over here, man. We walking with yeah, our chest up the now. Raiders don't. We've been trash since be this, nigga. Two thousand three, nigga. That if the Raiders don't make a good playoff run, that's a buzz. We in listen, there. listen. The Raiders in are in there. Vegas, okay. If uh-huh. the Raiders win, we know why, okay. <laughs> we know why. Listen, we know why. It's Nigga, not going to be cut good it out. On the field, Look, okay? all you need to say is it's our time. Nah, it's yeah. our time. Listen, we did our time. Old, I tell you what time you know what it is. Saying? It's time for me to roll another blunt. Oh, uh, I, hey, I'm with uh, that too. Shit, let me roll me a wood. But other than that. 
It ain't time for the Raiders to do nothing but just play yeah, yeah, Vegas. Yeah, well, yeah. the Cowboys yeah. will still be talked about, yeah. the most talked about in the worst way because they ass. But well, you know, I mean, at least we could talk football because our teams do well, listen, a little something. Listen, I referee football, so I have it, you know, up front and personal. Uh-huh. So you know, I be talking to casuals. I call fans casuals. Yeah, yeah, because they, you know, they really don't know, you know, the way I know it because I'm getting it. You know, I can tell you why or why not at. something's getting caught or not. Yeah. Because I, well, for one, because I know the rules. A lot of fans really don't know the rules. Not at all. Let's get and, up in it, man. Yeah. And, and you know, <laughs> especially football, basketball, it don't matter what sport, base, baseball, we do them all. But um, they really don't know the rules, man. So I really don't even be like arguing with fans. You're just saying that because you're a referee. I'm, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I go to games all the time and you hear parents. All the time, that's over the oh. back. Okay, that's not a rule. Oh, you know, God. that's just something that somebody mom made up because they seen little Billy got hit over the back. <laughs> hey, so now speaking, she's screaming over the back. Speaking of getting hit, what you think about Will Smith slapping <laughs> Chris Rock? Bruh. Listen, I think that was one of the most embarrassing, ignorant moments in black history. Dear God, and I'm glad you, you said that. You have a lot of people defending Will Smith saying, yeah, I want my man to do, listen. Yeah. You're gonna be a widow, okay? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get your husband killed, okay? Because there's better ways to handle that. You cannot tell me that jumping on TV, national TV, international TV, at the Oscars was the best way to handle that. If you felt like Jada got disrespected, mm-hmm. if it was me, you know, I would have got went up there and grabbed the mic and said something. You know, waited till you got kind it. Kind of what Kanye did. Yeah, if it was, re- I didn't think the joke was that bad, but. Meet him back to stage, backstage. Hey, what's up? He say something slick, slap him in the mouth. You I know? think the shit was set up. Fake. You think it was set up? Yeah. He had his yeah, head brought up. I think, the back. No, I I think he just that. threw Chris, uh, Chris Rock a lot, and Chris Rock slam dunked the ball. Oh, you know what I'm saying? What saying? Because he was going on tour right after this. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, he covered out here. Exactly. And guess what? T- his, tonight. After the shit, the stock rose right up. Yeah, my moms and my pops stay at the show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like after that, the stock I'm not rose really up. A Chris Rock like, fan the, like that. the tickets about, went up and video, shit like that. What so, about the video after you slapped him? Cause that nigga Chris Rock looked shook, bro. Bro, anybody who it gets didn't look slapped to me, what grown man would want to get slapped for ticket sales? That's what I'm saying. Bruh, That's listen, why I can't listen. say it's fake. First of all, he's a legend. It's highly weird. <laughs> it's highly weird, bro. I feel you on that. It's, they, I don't, they gonna do anything. I don't think it was You talking about a big ass nigga slapping the fuck out of you, bro? Bruh, Chris Rock didn't really give us nothing, nigga. He ha ha laughed Listen, it off. Even no, I promise you, that we, nigga went back. He said, hey, "God damn, like we would have <laughs> disgraced the whole black community." Cause we'd have been two fighting niggas on that stage. Exactly. I promise you. Exactly. Well, Smith already did what they wanted niggas. To they would have said that I showed my ass that night. I yep. promise. Yep. All on that I'm Oscar glad stage. Chris Rock just ate it. You know what I mean? And then I don't really like that. He. I, uh, that's that's more the reason why I thought it was set up. Because the nigga, like he's like I said, man. If you watch it, my nigga set up for it. Boom. He. Ha ha. What? Will Smith just slapped the fuck out of me. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> I mean, and he's like, wow. There was nothing else he, he could say whoa, because he, he clearly like, didn't slap him back. He didn't do shit. They nigga. Shouldn't have, My he, nigga stood there with his hands behind his back and his cheek out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that was because it was Will Smith. He didn't yeah. think. He, look how he came up there. He walked up on him like he was in Men in Black. I don't Smooth. give a fuck who you are. Hey, he like he was Mike that, Lauer. He was hey. like, he's a bad boy. <laughs> Listen, my nigga. Hey, why you, you slap that nigga? I want to be, I want to be. Nah, like, you my. slap me on stage and I'm hosting the Grammys? Yeah, that's Bruh, embarrassing. This is going to be the first and the last time I hosted the Grammys. Chris Rock has can't, daughters. You open hand slap me? That's the worst form of disrespect ever. But, but the Knock show me love the Worst Chris form of disrespect. We'll get to talk to me. Will Smith would have got kicked in his shins, nigga. My top I ain't five. Playing with yeah, I'm a. I like comedy. Honestly, my my bucket list now is to go see three. every comedian, um, like who I like or whatever. Well, I'm going to see DL in a couple weeks. But yeah, Cat Williams is my favorite. Ooh. Hey, he the realest uh, too. Yeah, I love he Cat. Uh, I Cat Ooh, Williams. Um, I love Martin Lawrence. Man, um, but you know his stand up is whatever. Go. But uh. No, Bernie His Mac. stand-up is whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Who else you got? Bernie Mac, more? Dave Chappelle, uh, DL. I like Godfrey. You got a lot of old school people. Hey, Godfrey, yeah. one of the underrated ones, my yeah. nigga. But he he was the first hilarious. person I went to see in Ontario. 
a couple years I ago. I just watched his interview on Vlad yesterday. Who are your that favorite uh, comedians? Man. Me? Yeah, Dave yeah. Chappelle, number one off the top. Shit, who else you got? Uh, D Ray Davis is underrated. That nigga <laughs> like, hella funny. He ghetto man. funny. Yeah, D Ray Davis. He like Mike Epps. Yeah, and we ghetto folks. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mike Epps, right another one. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Tony. Hey, yeah. where that bitch is? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mike Epps. Right but get Cat Williams, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I love Cat Williams. It's it's a lot of them out there. Yeah, Chris Tucker. Go, I, feel, I gotta uh, go with uh, Dave, of course. I gotta go with. Y'all, y'all under through a belt. George Lopez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah he I love him. <laughs> and I got to go with Dion Cole. Oh, that, one of, bro. Bro, he's We seen funny. that nigga live, bro. Dog. Is it funny? Nigga. Dion yeah. Cole came out there, had me screaming from beginning <laughs> to end, nigga. Yeah. And then the, the dude that opened for him, his name's like Ocean. I forgot his last name, but his name's like Ocean something. Light-skinned, bald-head dude. That nigga's hilarious too. Really, I uh, seen that comedy. You don't have to be famous to be funny. Yeah, yeah. Like I went to comedy shows with no names. That's true. And I died the yeah. whole way through. That's true. What? Yeah. Did, let me get some top three rappers of, of all time. So listen, listen. I'm not a. Or you know what? Let, right now in give the us game, because or... you did it before people. Yeah, might nigga. Forgot. I told you, Go pop ahead. number one off the this top. All but time you said, or right now. All time. All time. Pop. All time. I go Pac, J Cole. Damn, and that third one because nigga Kendrick ain't really rapping no more like that. But, but if he time. was, yeah. yeah, but mm, he ain't got enough on the catalog to take that number three. You know what I'm saying? Listen, so, so who you got? So, Hold on, let's hear it first. I don't even know for number three, but Tupac, Kendrick. I'm not going to put Biggie up there just because he Biggie. Oh, Cole? It might be. I mean, I, I said Kendrick, but I meant Cole. So Tupac and Cole. But uh, shit, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know for number three because it's a lot of other niggas. Who you it's... got? Other than West Coast? <laughs> okay, okay. J. Okay. Cole ain't West Coast. No, I'm talking about West Coast. Oh, you Coast, talking yeah. about West Coast Rico? <laughs> oh, that's my yeah, third no one, man. West Coast Rico, <laughs> man. What's the bank the song? Niggas, what you talking about? Like, listen, no, listen. Um, I'm a Snoop Dogg fan, okay? Mm. You know, Ooh, okay. so he's right up my alley. Um, I love Ludacris. Okay. Um, I love J. Cole. J. Cole is hard. Mm -hmm. I like lyricists, even yeah. though, you know, I like storytelling. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. so that's why I love Snoop. Um, but Tupac, uh, I, Lil Wayne, I don't know how I can forget Lil Wayne. Yeah. Lil Wayne's the GOAT to me. Cole. Oh, he, he's yeah. the GOAT. Oh, Lil Wayne's the GOAT. Nah, nah, nah. He yeah, don't say I enough like words that. on the track. He say nigga more <laughs> than anything else. Nah, his now, bars are stupid. Or just yeah. all, ever. The way he put some of them words together, oh, you, yeah. have, yeah. you have to like read the words, like yeah. see the words <laughs> yeah. to really get what Lil and Wayne is talking take, about. It might take a few weeks to get it. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's gonna Even go now, I'll go back and listen to stuff like, wow, he said that? He I still, listen to a lot yeah, of Wayne. Nobody, I ain't, nobody, I ain't, I'm not, I'm not listen, hating on it because that's my nigga. So I graduated in 2012. So like middle school to high school, Lil Wayne was on top the whole time. Yeah. Drake came out towards the end, but it was Lil Wayne. He was yeah. killing the game. Yeah. I mean, I stupid. Feel that. I feel yeah. that. I feel Lil Wayne that. all day. Y'all got who's, any shout outs? Who you say your go was? Jay Z? Oh, Pop. Pop. Oh, Pop. All I time. Y'all got any Pop shout outs before we get up out of here? Yeah, nigga, shout out Noach Gang, you know what I'm saying? Nochi okay. Smakes in the building, Nochi Smokes at home, you know what I'm saying? Nochi uh, head off, and I'm here with Nochi the Monster, so you know what I'm saying? It's okay. Noach, Noach. Okay. And shout out West Coast Rico, my nigga, good hey, looking, you know what I mean, for being you, here. Hey, I hope everything work out for sure, for sure, and you get that you. repping gig, my nigga. Keep yes, working. We're going to have you back, man. Yes, sir. We're going to have you back. Yeah, we'll slide back. We're going to have to freestyle next time, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll do that. <laughs> get the bars. So then you can be the go. You can put the thing where it ain't. Don't worry, buddy. It's shout not gonna be Lil Wayne no more. <laughs> yeah, shout out. Um, to, you know everybody supporting West Coast. Yes, sir. Uh, shout out to the man above. First of all, who makes everything happen. Um, shout out to Precious. You know my fiance. Mm -hmm. You know the kiddos, Aliana, RJ, Gianna, uh, my whole family. Uh, BG Tay, he helped me out on the song. Um, Jason, he helped me. Um, you know, produce it. Um, I got produced here, um, just producing everywhere, man. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to everybody. You know, I think the liquor is kicking in now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out the kids, because that's yeah. who we do it for. You Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, but West Coast. Hey, West man, Coast. I just want to say before we get up out of here, uh, 
Shout out to my nigga Jay. We got you back. Oh, we yeah. Have, you, know, go, you know I was coming we back. Go, man. Yeah, man. That's man, though. We're going to be seeing you around here more. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, shout yeah. out to my nigga Eddie for letting us hold it down in the studio like always. And uh, shout out to my nigga Rico. If you need your fucking car wash, quit bullshitting. Hit this nigga up, man. man. we're going to put the number on the screen yeah, and we're shit, put all nigga. The yeah, down do that, below, do that. You know what, you know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah, you tell them West Coast did hey, it. Yeah, West man. Coast did it. Hey, for West me? Coast, yeah. first yeah. person, put West Coast in the comments, get a free detail, you said? Yeah, we, let's do that. Yeah, we okay. doing that giveaway. Do first hey. person that That's comment, hashtag hey. West Coast Rico in the comments. Y'all yeah. get the free detail. And we pull it up on you. And y'all, uh, y'all finna be, y'all you know I'm saying, a little snippet in the video and shit. Yeah, all that. <laughs> That's what we doing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Talk, man. We out of here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, bang his song. Take us out. T-Rex. Bang his song. Drop the beat. West Coast. I got the streets yelling. West Coast. I'm mobile detailing. West Coast. That's how my team do it. West Coast. And I keep it moving. Uh-oh. It's a West Coast movement. Oh, yeah. Y'all ain't hear him. They say West Coast doing it. I heard that. Talk to me. I talk back. Say what? You want to watch? You know where West Coast at. Sure do. I'm busting suds, scrubbing rugs, scrubbing rugs. cleaning Vogue's, shining dubs. Yeah, all that. Hit the scene, looking clean. You already clean. know. No questions asked. I did my thing. You so did. West Coast. I got the streets yelling. West Coast. I'm mobile detailing. West Coast. That's how my team do it. West Coast. And uh, I keep it moving. When it come to this detailing, I make it happen. Oh, yeah. Waxing, ceramic coated. I'm about to accent. You say you need a detail. Well, who you asking? Well, who you asking? Google me if you're feeling uh, me. Yeah. West Coast did it, and it ain't no mystery. Ain't no mystery. Pull up, put your feet up. feet up. Shoot the keys, we get you cleaned up. Cleaned up. West Coast. I got uh, the streets yeah. yelling. West Coast. I'm over detailing. West Coast. That's how my team do it. West Coast. And we keep it moving. West Coast. That's how my team do it. Yeah, that's West Coast. All 2022, you can believe that. Don't get caught riding dirty. Don't get caught at that quick quack. They can't do it like West Coast doing it. Yes, sir. It's a bird. It's a plane. Nah, it's West Coast. And we coming to a neighborhood near you. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah.